She isn't coming yet, Toto. Did she hurt you? <laughs> no. She tried to, though. Come on, we'll go tell Uncle Henry and Auntie M. Oh, Toto, it's really coming down hard now. We gotta get home. Uncle Henry, Annie M, where are you? Come on, Toto, let's get in the house. Annie M, Annie M. Get inside, Toto, it's a twister. Oh, my head. I must have hit it on something. Auntie M, Uncle Henry. Toto? What the? Oh, I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. Oh yeah, welcome to season three of Legacy, all new world, brand new faces, brand new people I cannot wait to get to know and- Oh, hey, Fix. <sighs> As I was saying, I spawned in and had to travel a decent distance to get to where the main group area is going to be. I am so excited to get started, but well, first I need to find other people. It didn't take too long to find the very first signs of life. Avomance has already set up a mining company. Oh, that seems interesting. Maybe we can do something with that as I don't have very much stuff. I kicked off the Legacy Season 3 stream weekend. I was the very first one in that highly coveted 1 a.m. starting spot. The main point of what I wanted to accomplish in that stream was finding a good starting location, and that took about 10 minutes. So I used the rest of my two hour allotment to actually grind up some tools. There you see I got a diamond pickaxe, diamond axe, and a few other things, along with full iron armor. That's a solid start for sure. The spot that I decided to settle on is this very large island, and in fact, it's actually gonna be a lot bigger than that. So I moved away from where everyone else is. I set up a small farm because a man's gotta eat, am I right? And it's time to get really cranking on this season. One of the aspects of Minecraft I always forget about in the beginning is how difficult food can be to come by. So I did set up this farm right away, just using seeds. I have no potatoes, no carrots, no livestock, nothing. But at least, hopefully, I can live on bread for a little while. But I need to get to the nether soon, because I want to hook into the community area. Well, that was exciting. After I got a bunch of obsidian and I came up top, I need space for storage. So I started just making a big flat area. I have a space picked out for my storage room, at least temporary storage, and I just need to put my portal there so I'm ready. And even more fun, I'm starving. I'm actually starving. My wheat is not grown and I have no other food. So yeah, I'm swimming around in water trying to kill salmon with my sword. Fortunately, I found a wandering trader and he gifted me two leads. Don't worry about it. Don't even ask how that happened. It's none of anyone's concern. I got both cows to the water's edge, attached one to a fence, and put the other in a boat, and it is time to head home. I am kind of over starving, and it's time to get some beef. At least start breeding the beef, right? Hey, it's time for our famous segment, Minecraft Tips with Fix. Check this out. You wanna get your cow out of a boat? Don't bother breaking the boat with your ax and maybe hitting your cow or villager or whatever. Just put a lead on him. He pops right out. There you go. Tips for free. I was going back to get the other cow and it's funny how things just line up sometimes. The one thing that I don't have is flint and I need some to light my nether portal. Not a big deal. I can get some from gravel, but look what I found. I found a ruined nether portal on the way back and <laughs> look what's in the chest, flint. Literally the one thing I needed. It would have been nice to have some actual treasure, but hey, I'll take what I need. Nothing better than a cow in a boat. That's what I always say. All the time, that's what I say. And just like that, after only a couple days, I have two new best friends just waiting to be fed some delicious wheat. I think I'm still having flashbacks of my dinosaur 100 day video because I am fencing in everything to keep the dinosaurs away. All right, darn it, it's time. Let's go into the nether and see what's up. One of the things I'm very excited about this season of Legacy is we've decided to put the nether pathways at Y64 instead of on the roof or in the floor. That's super cool because it's gonna allow for some very scenic nether routes. 
Yeah, let me tell you, a Crimson Forest, not the ideal place to have a nether portal, honestly. It is one of the scariest places, actually. These piglins and hoglins are really scary. I don't know still how I beat this guy, but somehow I did. Jeez. After my little nether experience and hooking into where the community hub is, I have a great location. I have some cows. I have some food. I have a little storage area, but I don't have a plan. I really have no plan at all. It's actually kind of weird for me, but yeah, nothing. It was almost night and I decided I'll just sleep on it and maybe I'll come up with something tomorrow. Hello? Hello? Are are you a scarecrow? I, I think so. I, I don't know anything. I just know I had a dream. What, what, what kind of dream? I, I had a dream of somebody building the Emerald City. They, they look just like you, I think. Like the Emerald City from the Wizard of Oz? I think so. I was so distracted by that dream that the next day, while mining, I broke my diamond pickaxe. So, back to iron, and let me tell you, it's terrible. But my mood improved considerably when I hit my first diamond, and hey, at least I got three, which means a new diamond pickaxe and less of this incredibly tedious iron pick mining. Boom! Things are going great, truly, just great. Nothing to see here. But if I'm going to be building the Emerald City here in my base, since I didn't have another plan, this is going to work out great, but I need to know how much area I really have to work with. And to really get a really good idea of how much area I have to work with, I got to cut down all these trees, and there are a lot. It's a literal birch forest, so yeah, it's going to, going to, going to take a while. Cutting, 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 cutting down trees all day. My initial plan for the Emerald City is a circle. I think that would be really cool, and I want to go big, 256 blocks to be exact. And yeah, I started building a cobblestone ring of 256 blocks before I realized that is bigger than anything I think I've ever seen in my life. So I've reduced that to 129, odd number to have a center block. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good size. You can kind of see it looping around here, the perimeter. You can't see it all because, well, all of this land, it's kind of in the way, and... Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with that. But you can see, this is going to be the inner circle of the castle of the Emerald City. Should be very, very cool. Check this out. This is going to be the size of the castle of the Emerald City only. The actual city, yeah, that's going to go around and it's going to be a much bigger project. Look, I have a plan. Let me show you something. This is some concept art I found online when I was looking for just ideas and general stuff for the Emerald City. And this is beautiful. This will be the general shape and general palette that we're going to be going for. It's going to be different. It's going to be a Minecraft edge to it. But yeah, this is wonderful. After all that, though, I had made a terrible mistake. I thought I had enough cows to get all the 45 leather that I need for bookcases, but I don't. So I killed most of them and now I have to breed up my handful left. It only took a couple days where I was doing some other busy work of cutting down trees, and I have 15 bookcases and my enchanting table. Finally, oh man, finally, let's get set up. Amazingly, I only had enough levels for one enchant, and I got Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, the perfect pickaxe. After a little bit more quartz mining, I had enough to enchant my shovel, and I got a good Efficiency 4 shovel. But I was having a problem. I had some extreme block lag. Look at this. And I was blaming the server. Don't tell anybody. I'm a little embarrassed about this. I was blaming the server. I said, hey guys, this server can't handle my awesome shovel efficiency for. But yeah, it turns out my render distance was like 28 chunks <laughs> with shaders. So yeah, the problem may have been on my end. Let's just say as soon as I dropped the render distance to a reasonable amount, everything was just fine again. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Another thing that I can't believe I'm at, but I need coal and I need iron. And I guess it's time to officially go caving for maybe the first time in 1.18. It's pretty great, actually. I really like these big caves. And because of the lighting system, they're not quite as scary. So, yeah, nice job.
Oh man, mining this much without a beacon? That's no fun. But I had another brilliant idea. I thought, hey, maybe these creepers that spawn everywhere, maybe they can help me. But you know what they did? They blew up two blocks, two. It is done. This monster project, the most I have ever done in episode one of a series is done, Ugh, except for those trees. Okay, I gotta get those. I think it's time to walk away from this base just for a little bit. I've been here for days. I wanna go to the community area and take a look around. You know, I didn't know really what I would find in this place. I've never really been here because this got started when I was offline and then I just kind of went to my place. But you know what I found? I found potatoes and I found carrots. I took just one of each and I am now set to actually have some reasonable renewable food. Oh, this makes my day. I returned back to my Emerald City base and I made some room for some farms. I need room for my potatoes and my carrots after all. You know, usually when I start a Minecraft world, I'll do a little bit of a storage in a cave the first night, then I'll do a medium-sized storage in a little house, then eventually I will get to the forever storage for the world. Well, we're doing it different here on Legacy Season 3. I'm going forever storage now. Episode 1. Let's do it. I laid out the storage room and I laid out what will eventually be a sort of big gathering ballroom hall area. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be a big room. Remember that forest of birch I cut down? Oh yeah, it's gonna come into play now. Since I'm gonna be using sandstone as my primary block for walls, that means stripped birch logs? Yeah, baby, all day. I may be going a little bit birch crazy here, but I think it's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna do this alternating braid pattern. Yeah, I mean, why not? I have endless birch to my name. Yeah, baby, it is done. I mean, yeah, there's not walls or a ceiling or anything, but the storage is done. Now all I need to do is about a thousand trips back and forth. Oh my, I way underestimated this. This is taking forever. Just trip after trip after trip after trip after trip after trip after trip. I gotta move my portal and make sure it still sinks up. This is not the permanent home. I want it to be near my storage area. This is it. This is the footprint for the Emerald Castle Phase 1. Oh, I am so excited to get on building this thing. I just can't wait. We'll see you next time from Legacy SMP.